Huh. Why would he just attack us like that? <laughs> Are you alright, Oliver? Well, you died, Esther, so you have nothing to say. Oh, your name is Oliver Master. I, I'm sorry. Oh, most illustrious Master Oliver. Your prowess in battle is unsurpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful. Truly, you are a master worthy of alchemy, genie of the pot. Genie. That's right, Ollie boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside it, see? They do what's known as alchemy for you. But they have to test you first. To see if you are worthy and it. That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal, like if you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's traditional, see? Gee, you could have warned me, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> well, first I laid eyes on you, Master. Your diminutive size warned me most prodigiously. But you have humbled me. You have reminded me that the book may never be judged by its cover. No matter how unimpressive it may be. <laughs> He's just being plain rude against Oliver now. <laughs> and my chair creaked again. I bow to you, Master, now and forever. Pleased to meet you too. I obtained a cauldron. Master, I must pay you tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. A bottle of pixie dew. Whatever that is. A bunch of sour grapes. And slumber not leaves. You must combine these items with the power of alchemy. They will produce the, and produce a most wondrous and magical result. Now, Master, it seems you are still in need of instruction concerning the use of the cauldron. There are two ways to alchemize. When you possess the alchemical formula of the item you desire, simply select follow the formula and you shall have it in an instant. But you did not possess the formula. You may select mix and match the combined ingredients to your heart's content. I pray you will produce most wondrous and magical results, Master. For your first steps on the path of the alchemist, I recommend that you follow a formula. Do not run before you can walk, Master. And for this, your first alchemical experiment, I present you also with a formula. Behold! I obtained a new formula. Okay, follow the formula. Sprite Dew. Restores 200 health to all allies. Okay. Yes. And it's done! Success! You made the following. A bottle of Sprite Dew. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. Your cauldron is capable of many more such miracles. It can pr produce weapons, armor, medicines, and treasures of every kind. You must take your wizard's companion in hand, and try all that the alchemical arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward most humbly to serving you, master. Ha ha ha! That's useful, eh, early boy? Now we just need to bag ourselves a boat and all will be tidy. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. What do I do about the... Where's the cauldron? Wasn't that incredibly incredibly huge earlier? Why is it not there anymore? Uh, okay. That's strange. I'll just go to the boat. While jumping a little. Uh, this was not correct. Oh, I can go down there. Down the stairs. That may work a little better. Whee! Oh, here's a chest. I, I want a chest. Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it the seaside paradise of the south. Look, they are not dressed correctly. Toot, so very disrespectful. Uh, huh? 
Nickers. It's like ding dong dell all over or flipping again. Jeepers. Come now. What is this disturbance? Ah, Governor. The very person we need. What do we have here? Hmm, your visitors, visitors to our town, I take it. You must know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Oh, uh, but we ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through like. Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We once had a great trouble here. I'm sorry to hear that. You'd never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all over our world sailed to Castaway Cove. Travelers we do not always see eye to eye. The men of the sea are hearty, but quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a means of maintaining the peace. I am sure you have guessed it already what it was. Everyone is wearing the same clothes. Uh, yes, to require all those in town to wear bathing suits, of course. This is so stupid. <laughs> uh, what is it, flipping crackers or something? What difference would that make? A great difference indeed, fairy, for a bathing suit. One cannot conceal a weapon, ho ho ho! <laughs> and no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they from Alma Moon, from Ding Dong Dell, or from, a f from the furthest flung islands of the north. When they done the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Oh, that's interesting, but it's such a strange idea. How did you convince everyone to agree? Ho ho ho! At first, of course, I met with the ridicule from all sides. None would support my scheme. Or scheme. But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustration. And why was I able to show such restraint? Because I had a dream. A dream of peace. In the place of my birth. Gee! I thought they were dressed like that because it was so hot. Hee <laughs> hee, me too. Ho ho ho, you are not the first, first to think so. But this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a mister misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everybody else. Let's do it. I want to become a citizen. A citizen of Castaway Cove. All right, then, if we flip, we must. But I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? Huh? Or is it that he... I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? Ho ho ho, worry not, little one. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors such as yourselves. Come, you will follow me to my home. What about the chest? I wanted the chest. Oh. What? Why is she sparkling? Why are you sparkling? Sorry, well, I'm late. We may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of the more involved nature of feminine dress, eh, Ollie boy? Eh? Uh, yes. Anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove now. Let's go take a look around. Where's the wand? Thank you very much, Mr. Governor Swar. Ho ho ho! The bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now, at last I can say to you, Welcome to Castaway Cove! Thank you! And now at last we can go and look for a flipping boat! Talk about the Fafman! I obtained a bathing suit. And where's the wand? Where did he put the wand? Uh, okay. 
Well, I can still cast magic, so... That means that he has the wand on him. And they are in his trousers. Hi. Do you want to sail with me? Excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of this ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all, of all who sail in her. You have a beautiful boat, Captain. You do not need to tell me that. She is the most beautiful on the seven seas. There is not another finer or more fearsome ship afloat. And her name is no less fine or fearsome. For she is the legendary sea cow. Fearsome. I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your ship? Hmm. You seek passage aboard, aboard the sea cow. We need to get to Otomnia. A fast girl. You believe you can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, I'm... Well, Captain, and may I say that what a fine Captain you are. The young man standing before you, and I know it seems unlikely, but uh, bear with me. This unassuming scrap of a lad here, Oliver his name is, he is only on a journey to save our flipping world. And he is only accompanied by none other than myself, Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I'm Mr. You are a fairy? I have travelled the world, but never have I seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you travel to save the world with a fairy for a companion. Ha ha ha! Then surely my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships, a fleet even. Ha ha ha! Uh, does that mean we can ride with you? But of course, boy, just as soon as you have shown me a literal passage from our beloved Khalifa, the most exalted Lola. Eh? What? We sail, after all, for her glory, and for that of Alma Moon. Do I have to go back to Alma Moon? Should the Khalifa see fit to grant you permission to come aboard, I will refuse you nothing. All right, Captain. We'll go get that letter right now. Ha ha ha! Fine words, lad. But easier said than done, I fear. Still, if you're truly to save our world, it should be the work of mere moments. Ha ha ha! Uh, you don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him, prove him wrong. If uh, we can bring that letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alma Moon and get it. Koli Falola, eh? I wonder what she's like. Looking forward to this, I am. I flipping love royalty me. So I have to go back to Alma Moon. Hmm. Okay. But I think that that will have to wait until next time I play it. Because I feel like ending it here now. So... Bye!